new song, a debut tonight, um, for another one of Patrick Gale's books called Rough Music. Um, so, like I said again, welcome Patrick Gale into the show. because I haven't heard the song, I have no idea what bit they've used, so I'm going to just do the very end of the book, which is also the beginning of the book, because it begins and ends with the same passage. All you need to know is the she of this is um, a woman who has early onset Alzheimer's. She walked across the sand, not caring if her shoes became wet, drawn forward as much by the great moon up ahead as by the sound of the breaking waves. The moon had a ring around it, which promised or threatened something. She forgot what, exactly. The chill of the foam shocked her skin. She stood still and felt the delicious tug beneath her as the water sucked away sand. The water was as cold as death. If I stood here long enough, she thought, just stood, the sea would draw out more and more sand from under me and bring more and more back in. Little by little I'd sink, ankles already. Knees soon, then waist, then belly. She imagined standing up to her tingling breasts and sucking salty sand. When the first disarmingly little wave struck her in the face, would she panic? Would she instead laugh, as they said, inappropriately? She dared herself not to move. The moon was nearly full. She could see the headland on the far side of the estuary mouth and its stumpy, striped lighthouse. She could see the foam flung and drawn, flung and drawn about her. He was striding across the little beach behind her. She could tell without turning. Would his hands touch her first? Or would she merely feel the rough tweed jacket he draped across her? Would he call out from yards away? Or would she hear his voice, soft and sudden, when his lips were only inches from her neck? I love you. She felt the words well up. I love you more than words can say. Darling, he said, shall I help you back up? You're getting mud all over yourself. Here, take my hand. She let him take her weight as she lunged back onto the landing stage. The river mud sucked one of her shoes off, but it didn't matter greatly. She stopped, turned, and kick the second one after it, then let him lead her barefoot across the garden to the house. He was rather old for a nurse, much older than her, in fact, but he was tall, and tall was good. She liked that in a man, being so tall herself. And she liked the way he didn't seem to mind her walking smelly river mud across his kitchen. She smiled at him as he lowered first a towel, then a basin of soapy warm water to the floor before her, because it was all rather funny. And then she asked him his name. to retreat. 
Please. 